and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. So how do you like my new camera? Is it working any better? I don't know. We'll see what you think of it. Um, now, a few days ago, I got totally stuck on, well, not totally stuck, I got in the end to the end of a puzzle by Alvin S. It took me an hour and 13 minutes and I uploaded it and put it on the channel and then it was pointed out that it had frozen the video feed in the second half of the Sudoku, which was, I think, due to something going on on my PC, which I much regret. Um, and I'm very sorry for Alvin S that his puzzle didn't get the full light of day. We did put it on the community post. It was called uh, Cruella and the 101 Dalmatians, one of the longest titles we've ever had. And he's sent, he said very graciously that he didn't mind at all. He was glad to see um, the audio, well, to listen to the audio stream of the whole puzzle and see the first half of it solved. So thank you very much for that. But he has sent us a puzzle with a very short name this time. Although again, the theme of uh, Kropke Dots is well, it's not just prevalent, it's absolutely massive in this one. Now, first of all, I do have to mention the uh, puzzle hunt that was on May Patreon reward. Fantastic response to that. Very impressively, we have had a number of entries, and I think Simon's read out somewhere over a dozen earlier today that had come in by the time he was recording his video. Now, it's around 4pm, not quite there yet now, my time. And we've had a few more solutions from... Uh, Joseph Koshtal, Rob Frankham, Søren Hein, Emery Kolotoglu, and Patrick Nisi. Very well done to those and to the people Simon read out. To solve that hunt within a day is a fantastic effort. There is some really tough stuff in there, as well as some very approachable stuff, to be fair. Uh, but the praise for it has been massive. So thank you so much to Matthias Martinka, its author, and for allowing us to, to put it on Patreon, to feature it, and uh, we... We've been thrilled with the response, obviously. Now, of course, plenty of other stuff going on. Do listen to our podcast episode, which is on the channel if you haven't already. Uh, we will be making more at some point. We've got crossword videos um, on Patreon and on the channel. All sorts going on. Simon's Sisyphus Solve. Um, Demono's answer to his April puzzle. Loads of stuff. And we do try and bring you the best content we can. So... And we do carry on at two a day, even on the day when I had to take down my video. I'd done a crossword that day, so I don't feel like I quite missed the day. But anyway, um, I don't think Albin S has seen, like many new, newer constructors, our uh, community post featuring how we like to receive puzzles, um, which includes the ways in which we'd like to see uh, the solution and separate answer file any steps that are needed to avoid our testers thinking that there might be bifurcation involved. But he is what seems to be well aware of the fact that we do like a simple rule set. And this one really obeys that. It is the kind of crop key dots rule set uh, that we're familiar with on the channel now. And if you're not, let me just explain that white dots join two cells with consecutive digits. Black dots join two cells with a ratio of one to two. So they could be 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 6. Um, and not all dots are given. No negative constraint in this puzzle. And that's all we get. No given digits. And I can tell you from my experience and instinct that this looks pretty much too few crop key dots to make a uniquely solvable puzzle. So I'm a little bit terrified that Albin has gone way off the difficulty, um, the hard end of the spectrum again today. Who knows? Let's see. You will know from the length of the video, I don't, but do give it a try if you feel like it. It's on the link um, under the video and in that description field you can find links to all our apps, Patreon, Discord, um, the book, merchandise, everything that's going on. Thanks so much to everybody who's bought merchandise lately. It's I'm delighted that we've had a new range and that it's proving so popular. Do have a look at it if you haven't. But anyway, let's get on with the motley. Let's... Um, Let's get cracking and see how we go. And we've got uh, two different cases here of runs of three on the crop key dots. Now, I told you that the pairs that can be on them are one, two, two, four, four, eight, and three, six. Any run of three that have to be different digits, like these two, must be from the one, two, four, eight set. They can't be three, six, or one of them would repeat. 
and they have to have a two or four in the middle. And now I see we've got these, look, there's quite a few odd little patterns of the third, well, of one of the crop key dots being joined on both sides by white dots. What does that mean? That, okay, well here, yeah, this is the simplest one. This is on a white dot on a pair of white dots and it's two or four. So that is surrounded by one, three or five. Wonder if it's going to be worth odd even colouring here. Probably not yet. And one of those must be a three actually. That's even slightly bigger because whether this is two and surrounded by one and three or four and surrounded by three and five, it'll always be a three in there. Um, I don't know what these are. They could be any of the one, two, four, eight set. The same goes here, but no, this can't be a one because that would be a two, but it would also need, well, it would need two twos on its dots. Does that mean it can't be a two as well? One, three, no, four, eight. No, it doesn't. But again, now that one has gone, this is even as well. Okay, let's get down to some colouring. I don't know if this is going to be necessary, but this much is true so far. Um, well, the colours I'm using are blue for even and orange for odd. But the trouble is, I don't know what odd numbers are in those. In fact, the whole point of doing the colouring is I don't have to write all of 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 in. Well, this hasn't proved quite as fruitful as I was hoping. Um, oh, and there's a run of five cells on black crop key dots here. Well, that's quite interesting. Oh, I've got a digit. Oh, I've got an important digit. Look, there's this run of five cells on white dots here. So that's got to include a five. Whether it's one, two, three, four, five at one end of the scale, five, six, seven, eight, nine at the other, or anything in between, there must be a five there. Now that's telling me none of these are fives, and these black dots are telling me none of those are fives, so I can put the five in row three in the grid. And that takes it out of this pair of cells. Oops, don't want to put a four in. So that's now a one, three pair. What does that mean? Um, that hasn't got much else done, has it? One of those must be a four now. And two and four are definitely used there. That's slightly interesting because this white dot must have an even number on it. Two consecutive digits must be even and odd. So it either has a six or an eight on that pair. This is really weird. This is such a strange feeling puzzle. Right, how could this be eight? It would need seven and nine there. And then where am I gonna put one and three in the box, bearing in mind the pair that appears there? Oh, I can. Oh, bother, I can. No, I can't put one and three there because that one would need a two on the black dot, but the eight would need a four. So that's not eight. These are again from one, three, and five. Oh, and that's now a two, four pair. Was that a two, four pair before? No, I've got rid of eight there. That's a two, four pair. So this is either one there, two, four, or eight, four, two. Hmm. I'd love to know which way round that is. Um, what else is this telling me? This is now not two or four, because that is a pair. Oh, let's just colour that one, just in case that matters. It won't, I don't think. Um, this is one, three, six, or eight, with a... Oh, no, it's not one. 
for the simple reason that that would make this 2, which would have to be surrounded by 1 and 3. That's not possible. It could be 8. Well, that's the only thing stopping us knowing that this is a 3-6 pair. And maybe it's not, but if that was 8, this is 4. Ooh, surrounded by 3 and 5, which would make that a 1. Ooh, interesting. Now, one of these must be two or four, because none of them can be in the center of the column. Ah, oh, two or f No, we haven't established anything about that, sorry. Um, three is definitely in one of those cells, isn't it, now? Whichever way round they go again, same as it was down here. Now, if that was a one-three pair, they couldn't both go there, so one would be here. Hmm, that doesn't get anything done. So what about this group? Um, ah, the number of even, num even numbers in this row is interesting. The group features all four even numbers, the, the group of six digits that these five cells must come from. The other even number must come from here. Now, not only does that mean this is odd, it means, doesn't it mean, yeah, there's an even number here, but it can't be two, because that would need either one or three and not leave enough You'd have to pack basically 7 and 9 into that cell. Ah, yes, 9 or 7. This is 7 or 9, and 9 or 7 is on one of these. It could be 7, 6 as a pair. In fact, if it was 7, 6, that would be 9. This would be 8, and we'd have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 run. Um, but actually, no, there are some other possibilities there. That's not... That useful. That's either six or eight, and whichever it is must appear here, because then it's the one of the six digits and on black cells that can't be in those cells. And since this must represent the three pairings, one, two, four, eight, and three, six, that six or eight must appear up here. So the number below it is three or four. Isn't it? I think it is. Six or eight there. So one of these could be three, six. I don't know what... Yeah, that must be right. That must be right. One, two, and four appear in these five cells. Oh, no, that number could be the same as one of those two. So I think, no, that conclusion is probably wrong. Let's... Let's restore it and think about that again. Six or eight is there. So six or eight is the number not in these cells. So if it's not eight in them, then we have a three, six pair. Ah, oh, we could have two, four or one, two. Yes, okay, my conclusion was far too heroic an assumption. We can't make that. Um, Maybe there is some reduction of this number we could do. If that was an 8, then there'd be... I don't think that's possible straight away, yes, because you'd have a 6 here. So you couldn't have a 6-3 on one of these rows, but you can't just make up the other cells with 4, 2, and 1, so it can't be an 8. Oops, didn't mean to take 8 out of those two. Um, can it be a 1? 2 there... If it's a one, yeah, that's not so hard. What about if it's a six? Then there's an eight here. Oh no, again, with a six, there's nowhere for three to go in the row, basically. So it can't be a six. Okay, oh, I've done it again. Um, so, okay, what I could have concluded is that itself can't be an eight or six. That doesn't mean that this is an eight or six. Okay, that's how it works. That makes some sense. Now, what else have we got going on back with these 
sums, or do we need to look up at this run of five? Or up here? I keep thinking that that's going to be forced. If this was a three, four, five, no. Hang on, I've taken, oh my goodness, I've taken five out of that pair of cells and I not noticed that it gives a two in the middle. Dope. So now it's a one, two, four set. Doesn't change that at all. Two, one, three. Um, don't tell me that doesn't get anything done. Oh, that's a four because that's a one, three pair. Wow, I'm being really slow at some of the regular Sudoku stuff. That does get things done. Two, four, and one there. Now that is a three, five pair. That's what I wanted. I know it's not the way I wanted to see it. <laughs> okay, that's not one, two, or four now. So this is either three, six, or four, and it can't be three from the column. Ooh. Oh, it can't be four from the column. Bang! So that is a six, and that's a three, and this doesn't have a six in it. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. So this is not in this run of five, so it's either one end or the other. It's one or six. We've got one, two, four here, so two must be on the black dot with one or four, and this is one or four, and this is Oh, it could be two or eight. I was hoping that made it a two. No, it can't be two because there is a two there. It is eight. Four there, one, two pair. Wow, this is so clever and I'm so so not clever at working out how it works. Um, three, four, five, one, two. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine. So two appears up there somewhere, four up there. One, what's this pair? It doesn't include a two, a four, or a six, and it needs an even number. That even number is going to be eight. Seven or nine there, that's not an eight. Oh, look at this. This can't be a four now, because it would be surrounded by three and five, and that would kill this cell. So now we know it's a three, six pair. That's gorgeous. So that's not a six. This can't be a five anymore. Don't think this can be a nine. So we're reducing them bit by bit. What about this pair? It doesn't have a six, a four, or a two in it. So it's got an eight in it. A one and two. That has to be a one, two pair, in fact. Yes. One, two. So these are from four, seven, and nine. Six and eight must be here, so that can't be a six. That's now a seven, nine pair. Five and six go down here, and we've got another seven, eight, nine triple, but eight must be on the dot, uh, which is very analogous to that position there. Ah, oh, this is really interesting. Um, now, this is either three surrounded by two and four. Actually, we would know what way round they would be or it's six surrounded by five and seven. Six, seven, three, nine, eight. Oh, just can be done. Well, that would put a one, two, four, triple there. Two, three, four, five, bit less constrained, high numbers here, and one. Oh yeah, one is confined to those two cells. So, oh, somewhere in one of those two only. Now, I haven't really looked at this. I can see it can't be a one, but that's not telling me everything. Now, what about up here then? This either goes two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five. So, this is either three or four in the middle of that. That could be one and five with six in the middle, or two and six with one in the middle. Oh, that's right. It's either one, five, one, six, five in some order or two, six, one in some order. Therefore, it includes the one somewhere in those three and that turns this into a two and that tiggers back to this bit 
and says two can't be in the ends of this u pentomino that's been inverted. Two must be up here somewhere. So the ends of the pentomino are now one and five. We can put six in the middle. That's so gorgeous. This is a three. That's a two, four pair. That decides where four is here, which is there. And we're left with a seven, nine pair. Oh, that's so neat. Right, one of these is a three, given that three, and we can see from that pair where it is. This is seven or nine to fill the column. Um, three there, three there, three in one of these. Can it be here? Well, it couldn't go three, two, one, because that would break this. But it can go three, four, five, as far as I can see. So I'm going to pencil mark three in there. That forms an X-wing with those and gives us a three actually here, which is going to put a three in one of these cells. I might be able to restrict that a bit more. If that's a five, this is two, three, four, and otherwise it's a three, so three can never be there. Six now has to be up at the top here somewhere. Oh, that doesn't get anything done. Five and six must be along there somewhere, so I'm going to put five in as well. Oh, there's not many other places where clues can be. This is quite difficult to work out how we proceed further. Three, one, two, four, six. What's this? That is five, seven, eight, or nine. That's not very interesting. Ah, this now can't be one, two, or three, six. So it's either two, four, or four, eight. It's definitely got four. That's not all that helpful being in this position. Ah. Um, two, four there, three, six. Ah, oh, okay, what about this run of three that now doesn't have a three in it? So it can't be lower. Four, five, six, it can't be seven, eight, nine because of that cell, which would be broken. So it's either four, five, six, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. So that middle cell of those must be five, six, or seven. Do I know any more about that? No. Keep having to bemoan the fact in my brain that there's no negative constraint, but I can't do anything about that. It just isn't. Now, hmm, what else have we got looking at us? Let's hope it's nothing as obvious as I was missing down here originally, but it might be. My cursor's probably hovering over the place I need to be looking. It is quite likely to be this run of three, actually, so there's a fair chance that is the right approach. Um, ah, they can't have a five or six in the middle. Yeah, maybe let's focus on what the middle digit can be. It can't be three or six because of those. It can't be five because if you had a five there, you'd have a six one side or the other and that would be broken. It can't be an eight because of that cell. You can't put seven, eight, nine in there. Oh, it can't be a two, right. So from, it can't be one or nine because neither of those can ever be in the middle. It can't be three, six. I'm just going to I'm going to write all the non 1 or 9 digits in and then cross them out one by one. It can't be 3 and 6. It can't be 8 because of that cell. So you couldn't put 7 8 9 in there. It can't be 2 because of that cell. That would need 1 and 3 either side of it. It can't be 5 because of that cell. You would have a 6 on one side or the other. So it's come down to two possibilities. This is either 3 4 5 or 6 7 8. Wow. Well, that, those are very different. Oh, but they only have one way round each. So it's either three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's 
So I've still got to place one and two in the box, and they must be up here. So there's a two down here somewhere. Ah, oh, and there's a one up there. So now we get that fixed as a three. I don't think that one resolves this dilemma. Yes, it does. Three there, three there. We need a three on this run, so we know it's three, four, five. That is beautiful. So that's not five. This one isn't a three. This has now become a six. These are from two, seven, eight, nine. Um, has that done anything here? Two, five, seven, eight, nine, no. Six has to be up here somewhere. Well, in one of those two cells. So in one of those two, oh, look, three, four, four is in one of those two. Oh, my goodness, um, five, that can't be a five. So this can't be a seven now. So they've got restricted to, again, two possible now, if that was two, three, four, these two would have to be two and four. Yeah, they could be. If it was five, six, seven, we'd go three, nine, eight, one, two, and four. Then that becomes an eight, which is the opposite case from it having to be a two or a four. Ah, oof, which is it? Which is it to be? Five, that means this can't be a five. Six, seven or nine up here as well. Just don't know. Can I tell what this is? And I don't realize it. There's every chance. Or this, or this set. Right, well, if it's... Has anything else been ruled out that I haven't spotted here? Oh, look, there's a one looking straight up there. Wow, come on. That's been there forever. Sorry about that. Okay, but I don't think it changes all that much, actually, does it? Maybe it does. No, let's give it a chance to. Right, five in this box. Yeah, that five is ruled out of there. That five's ruled out of there. That f Oh, in fact, those two fives been telling me where five is in this box. Dear, dear, dear. Um, ah. Right, now, there is a five here, I think. Because if this is two, three, four, that's a five. The alternative is it's five, six, seven. And that all means five can't be here. So now five is in one of these two cells and is definitely on this run of white cells. So it's either... So this can't be seven anymore. It's either five, six, seven, or it's four, five, six that way around because of this four. So now there's a five, six pair there. Oh, doesn't that get anything done? Six must be there. So that stop, oh, this has been stopped being a six by that, that action anyway. So six can go in there. Six pair, it looks so pretty. Did this do anything else? Did three has to be in this group? Yeah, I worked that out earlier as well. Oh, does seven? No, it doesn't necessarily. Right, three, six, five. If that. Two, one, five, six. If this was a seven, we'd be going nine, eight, four. Seven, six, five, three, nine. It does work. Come on, I've got to keep persevering at this. This feels like it's it's nearly there now. And I do want to get this done. It's so clever. Um, eight, four, one, two, three have been done there. Five, six. 
as this pair of the eight. It's, it's, it all seems to come down to this black dot. Do I know whether that's two, four, or four, eight? Five, six are there. One and three have been confined. Right, four. No, I don't think four is giving anything away here. Oh, look, that one is looking at that cell. So this is where the one goes. Um, three, six, one, five. That can't be two, four. So it's seven, eight, or nine. So if that was four, eight, we'd have two down here and a seven, nine pair. If it was two, four, we'd have a seven, eight, nine triple in the column. It's so close. It's right on the edge here. Come on. Uh, three in one of those cells, three over there, three in one of those. Mm, I'm being terribly slow here. One, one, fours. So maybe I just need to think about what the possibilities are here. Oh, I know, because if this was a four, five. Ah, if this was a five and that was a six, then you'd get three there and three there, five there and six there, and that's impossible. Wow. So it's figuring out which way around that goes through these cells. That's beautiful as well. Really is beautiful. That can't be a five because it would make that a three. That would be a five. This would be the three, six, seven set. No, that would be the two, three, four set, if that was a five. That would be six, and that would have to be six as well in the same row. Good grief. Okay, so that's not the five. That's the six. That's the five. Seven there. We can take, oops, seven out of all those, and the accidental naught I put in. That's a two, eight, nine set. So this has become four. Still doesn't tell me whether it's two, four, or four, eight which is just cruel, but this has become nine. Um, all the colouring, by the way, was absolutely valueless. Let's get rid of that. Never used it. Um, that can't be six. This five. So I'd better get it done, otherwise I'll be very distressed. Six. We've got... Oh, yeah. This is an eight. So let's do the pencil marks. This is the four to complete the, co the column, and that fixes this as the seven, six, five group. Three there. This is now nine. That deals with the seven, nine pairs around the grid, I think. Um, let's just do one thing at a time. This is eight, two here. Eight there. Now we know what that black dot's doing. Seven and eight there. This is a nine. Oh, breathing easier. We've got a three, seven pair there. Nine and two are resolved and eight, which I thought I'd tried to put in earlier. Apparently I just colored the cell. That's a seven, eight, nine. Now this has become a seven, so that's a six, nine there. This surely is the home straight now. That's a nine, that's a seven, six, Seven three. This one's thrown me so much. I, even the ordinary stuff doesn't feel comfortable at the moment. Don't know why. Two and four to go in there. Two and one up here. And two triples left to finish. Seven five six and two eight one. And I think that is the answer to a very clever puzzle. Just using Kropke rules by Albin S who is certainly becoming a name to be reckoned with. Absolutely intriguing. And I will yet again link his um, Dalmatians puzzle, which this kind of looked like a second go at. So I'll definitely be uh, including the same Dalmatian picture on the thumbnail, which you'll already have seen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do have a go at the puzzle hunt. Join Patreon if you haven't already. Go on. Um, and do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content at all and watching us 
flounder our way through these puzzles. I wasn't brilliant at the start of that, I know. But anyway, got there in the end. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.